Hello, my name is Elizabeth Lee, and I'm going to show you how to use Music Index, which is a database with full text capability. I have arrived at this page by clicking on the link in the Beethoven LibGuide, and I have already put in Beethoven for the search term. Notice that capitalization does not matter. I have also checked the box for full text results only. And finally, I have already clicked on the green search button. You'll see that we received over 3,000 results, which is pretty overwhelming. So let's say that for our research, research purposes, we are really interested in Beethoven's time in Vienna. Let's go back up here to these search boxes and type Vienna into the second box. You'll notice a drop-down box of Boolean terms. If we choose and, then we will limit our search to only articles that talk about Beethoven and Vienna. If we choose or, we will expand our search to all the articles that talk about Beethoven and all of the articles that talk about Vienna. If we choose the word not, it will limit our search, but not by a lot. It will return all of the articles about Beethoven that do not mention Vienna. So let's go back to and and hit the search button, and you'll see that our results go from just over 3,000 to a much more manageable 85. You can also narrow your search using these tools on the left. Let's narrow our search to only articles from peer-reviewed journals. When we click on that, we go from 85 articles to 16 articles. You can also change the year of publication. If you would only like articles from the last 10 years or five years, you can click here, or you can highlight the year in the box and type in your own year and hit enter. I'm going to leave it how it is for now. And finally, you can also narrow your search by clicking on any of these categories down here at the bottom left and clicking on the boxes. Okay, going back over here to the right side of the page, you'll see a few helpful um, drop-down boxes. If you click on this drop-down bo box, you can sort the way the articles are returned. If you click on page options, you can change the way the articles are presented on the page. You can play around with that. I'd like to highlight this share drop-down box. It's very handy if you want to save the results of the page, you can do so here. You can save your search terms to this folder. You can create an alert so that the database will let you know if articles that match your parameters are uploaded in the future. And you can also find a permalink to this entire page here. There are also some handy tools next to each article. This is a permalink for the actual article. This provides citations for the article, though word of caution, they're not always 100% accurate, so make sure you check before you use it. This um, allows you to kind of see a snapshot, which isn't really much different from what you're seeing here. And then this allows you to print, email, or save multiple items to a folder. And finally, if we click on a specific article, there are a few great features in Music Index. You can save this article to Google Drive, to OneDrive, you can add it to a folder, you can print it, um, et cetera. I'll let you read those yourself. And if you click on the PDF full text version of the article, you get this handy, um, it's kind of like a table of contents of the subject headings, and you can click on any of those headings and it will take you directly to that section. You can also click on this menu here and it will show you a table of contents. It gives you a really quick way to scroll through all of the pages. You can click on the highlighter, choose your color and thickness and highlight whatever you would like. You can also draw on the page in whatever color and thickness you would like. But if you don't like the way that looks, you can click on the eraser and erase it. And finally, you can annotate using the button at the top. And when you're finished typing, you simply click the box again and it will be saved. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please email me. You can find the email link on the homepage of the Beethoven LibGuide.